Hello, my name is Yung Min Kim, a graduate student from University of Seoul under the guidance of Professor Hong Chul Moon. It's great honor to have this opportunity to introduce my research in this seminar. Today, my research topic is non-volatile, ultra-structural, highly transparent ion gels for the next generation skin type wearable sensors. I'd like to start by looking at the exponential growth of wearable electronics. Electronic skins refers to flexible, stretchable, and self-healing electronics that are able to mimic functionalities of human or animal skin. The broad class of materials often contain sensing abilities that are intended to reproduce the capabilities of human skin to respond to environmental factors such as changes of heat and stress. Over the last few years, there have been many efforts to develop the sensitivity of sensors by introducing carbon materials into the textile, blending liquid metal with soft elastomers, or encapsulate ion liquid into the elastomer. Moreover, hydrogels and ion gels were used to make black server sensing electronics. However, there are also many defects, such as complicated fabrication process or agglomeration problem between conductive materials. This makes non-responsible results in sensitivity or device operation. Moreover, hydrogel-based sensors also suffer the serious problem, such as drying issue, which decreases the cyclic stability in ambient condition. Therefore, they need additional encapsulation process or should contain humectants to prevent water drying. More interestingly, conductive material-based elastomer have a limit range to endure the applied strain due to the discontinuity of the conductive channel. Therefore, in this study, we focused on the highly stretchable materials based on copolymer ion gel. For the enhanced mechanical strengths, we synthesized random copolymer by lapped polymerization process, which contained methyl metacrylate and butyracrylate. The polymer characterizations were well evaluated by size exclusion chromatography, differential scanning calorimetry, and proton nuclear magnetic resonance. To make ion gel system, the obtained copolymer was mixed with ion liquid EMI TFSI for homogeneously blended state and after drying process, the ultra stretchable ion gel could be obtained. But to figure out the origin of stretchability, we synthesized PMMA and polyethyl metacrylate home polymer, which has high and low cross-transition temperature. For example, PMMA home polymer has 120 Celsius degrees and PMA whole polymer has 80 Celsius degrees per TG. Some researchers argued that the low TG is crucial factor for chain flexibility. Therefore, we adjust the other factors as the same condition, such as similar molecular size or same concentration of ion liquid, for just comparing the TG effect. However, as the DSCC data and strain stress curves shows that the stretchability is not affected by the glass transient temperature. So, we compare the solubility of each polymer domains in ion liquid. In these microscopic images, the PMMA whole polymer and PMMA random PBA copolymer could be made homogeneously mixed gel system, except the PBA whole polymer based ion gel. Moreover, in the SACS data, we can extract the size of the insoluble domains in ion gel. Compared with the PMMA whole polymer based ion gel, PMMA random PBA based ion gel has larger agglomerates, which means that the PBA domain is not dissolved in ion liquid. So, we finally assume that the ion liquid insoluble PBA domain, which has a low glass transient temperature, is the crucial factor for ion gel stretching process. Verifying our assumption, we synthesized the 89% of PMMA random PS copolymer, which has similar molecular size and molar ratio of insoluble domain. But this random copolymer has styrene domain for ion liquid insoluble sites and has high TG. As the result, this PMMA RPS based ion gel could not stretch more than 500% due to the high glass transient temperature of styrene domain. That means the ion liquid insoluble domain could be stretched and dissipated the induced external stress. Finally, we conclude that the ion liquid insoluble domain, which has low TG, is crucial factor for make a stretchable ion gels. 
That means the maximum stretchability can be enhanced by adjusting the molar ratio of PBA domain in the copolymer. Therefore, we increase the PBA mole flexions and the result rheological properties were evaluated by Leometer. In the high mole flexions of PBA containing ion gel, the G prime is reversed by G2 prime in low frequency. And on the other side, if the PMMA mole flexions is more than 88%, the G prime is reversed by G2 prime in high frequency. Accordingly, we choose 88. Percent of PMMA are PBA copolymer, which shows solid state at a frequency region. The Moreover, the concentrations of ion liquid are main factor for evaluate the ion gel's property, such as mechanical strength and ionic conductivity. In literature, the two main characters are in trade of relationships. So, we precisely control the concentrations and measure the ionic conductivity and mechanical strength. Therefore, the optimized concentration was fixed, which shows high stretchability and moderate ionic conductivity. We further examined the cyclic stretching and releasing stability at strain 100%, in which similar stress strain curves were still recorded after 500 cycles. Mechanical reversibility was quantitatively characterized in terms of recovery ratio and residual strain. After 500 consecutive cycles, the recovery ratio was 96.1%, and the low residual strain level was maintained. More interestingly, ion gels are ionic conductors by themselves. Therefore, the ion gel could be used as wireless sensors by simply connecting the gels to a digital multimeter. As the gel was stretched, the brightness of the LED gradually decreased due to the increase of resistance, indicating that the deformable gel could be used as sensing platforms. We measured the resistance variations by applying strain. Because the ions should move increased distance when the gel is stretched. Accordingly, the induced strain can be detected with resistance change. The gauge vector, the ratio of the applied strain with resistance variation, is 2.73, which is relatively high value compared with previous strain sensor. We also demonstrated the stability of the gel. The ion gel strain sensor well maintained the initial amplitude of resistance change even after 13,000 stretching and releasing cycles, stable more than 10 days without any encapsulation process, due to the highly non-volatile properties of the gel. Finally, we employed the gel films or skin type strain sensor, referred to as ionoskin. We attached ionoskins to four representative body parts, finger, elbow, ankle, and knee, to demonstrate their potential as a human motion sensing platform. We can detect the strain variation such as finger movements or jumping motion, and moreover, the speed of human working movements. To sum up, we fabricated of highly transparent and ultra-stretchable ion skins by vessel and lapped copolymerization and obtained ion gel is highly stable with good sensitivity and non-volatility. And moreover, the sensitivity could be maintained more than 10 days without any encapsulation process. This result implied that the ionoskins in this work have tremendous potential for application in wireless, real-time detection electronics and further robotic skins. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your listening and especially appreciate to guidance of Professor Moon and our laboratory member. And we are open to any questions.